Hello there everyone, my name is Andy and today I'll be showing you how to stream to a Shoutcast server using WinApp. First of all, you need to download WinApp. You need to go to www.winapp.com and go to Media Players and click on WinApp. Once you're here, click on the free download link and WinApp will be downloaded on your computer. You'll also need the DSP plugin. In order to get the DSP plugin, please go to www.shoutcast.com once you're here, go to Broadcast Now and scroll to the bottom of this page and you'll see Shoutcast DSP plugin for WinApp and the download link below. Please click on that download link and the DSP will be downloaded on your computer. Now I will show you how to install and configure the DSP plugin and WinApp. Run. Next. I agree. the path to win app. I, su I suggest you leave it like this. Next, next, next. I do not want any of these options. If you want you can leave them enabled. Next. I do not want driver scanner either. If you want you can install it. Install. I do not want WinApp to open up because I also have to install the DSP plugin and finish. WinApp has been installed, now I will install the DSP plugin. Here, run, next, I agree, the path to the DSP plugin, I suggest to leave it like this, next, install. It has been installed and right now I will open up WinApp. Here are some details about WinApp, I will click on finish, if you want you can edit them. We'll have to wait while WinApp opens. Okay. You'll see, when WinApp opened, a nose of Shoutcast source icon also opened. This is the DSP plugin. If the DSP plugin does not open by itself, you'll have to do this. Right click on the top part of WinApp, go to Options, and from here to Preferences. You can get here by pressing Ctrl P, as you see right here. So, in WinApp Preferences, you have to scroll down, go to Plugins, and from there to DSP slash Effect, and double click on Nose of Shoutcast Source DSP version 2.2.3. You'll see that the Nose of Shoutcast Source icon has opened again. In the Nose of Shoutcast Source, you will see multiple tabs, like Summary, Output, Input, and About. I suggest we start with the Output tab and here to the connection tab. Here you'll see multiple details like the address, the port, the password. The address will be given by your stream provider so will the port and password. The address is either an IP or a domain or a subdomain. This is my IP and I will also put my port number and my password. Now you will see multiple options here, automatic reconnection on failure. Let's say that uh, there's a problem with the radio server or there's a problem with WinApp and it stops. If you have this option enabled right here to auto connect and here you can put how many seconds it will reconnect to. You can put 5, you can put 10, I will put 5. And I will also have to enable this option, new Shoutcast V1 mode for legacy servers because right now uh, I have a Shoutcast server 1.9 and if I do not enable this option this, the, the DSP plugin will try to connect to Shoutcast server 2.0.2 .2, and it will not work. Now I'll move on to the yellow pages tab. Here you have multiple details like the name. This is the radio's name. I'll put right now ND's radio and also the URL. The URL is uh, if you have a website you can put your website's uh, link right here so that people can link your radio station with your website. And the genre. And the genre is the type of music that you will play on your radio station. You can choose from a wide variety of genres. I will just leave it by default to MISC. And the encoder tab. Here you can select the encoder type and also the, uh, the bitrate. I recommend that you choose MP3 encoder and it already connected. I will have to disable this connect 
Okay, MP3 encoder and a bitrate of 128 kilobytes per second. Now we'll move on back to the yellow to the connection tab and click on connect. You see it goes right through. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please post in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye bye.